Hello, how are you everyone? So, most likely uh, have a good journey, not like Mr. Hazim journey, it was really interesting. So, first of all, I'm gonna give an introduction about myself. Uh, I have a bachelor's degree in nuclear engineering, so most likely I spend my life in nuclear reactors, energy, simulation. Then, uh, I start working for American companies called Avetra Corp. So here where I started my journey to enter the new fourth industrial revolution market and to learn more about AI and data science in the energy field and the utilities field. So learning that time, it was really hard. There was no resources. There was no enough resources to learn. So I started reading books. But by the time I was looking and seeking for more faster process to learn from the, uh, from the internet, so someone recommended me to take online courses in AI and data science. It was a bit difficult too, because it was my first experience in that. Then I started to detect online courses. So I took more than 180 online courses in AI and data science between 2014 and 2016. Then I started teaching data science and AI and being a consultant for so many companies uh, in the region like Beyond, the Limit, Beyond Limits, Avetra Corp, uh, Aramco in Saudi Arabia, STC, so many banks in the region. Then I wanted to start my company, startup. So everybody thought I'm gonna start an AI startup, but no, they were a mistake. I told them there's a bigger problem that we need to solve here in the Arabic countries. It's the fast learning process. Our students, the next generation, they need a huge library, our knowledge hub for the fourth industrial revolution uh, science technology that bridge the gap between the university output and the market requirements because in the first industrial revolution the growth rate is so exponential and so high so nobody can keep up in AI machine learning blockchain metaverse web3 every day there's a new technology every day there's a new algorithm so we need a platform decentralized platform where it bridge the gap between the knowledge seekers and the knowledge drivers here where I started Unihance the first decentralized e-learning platform in the MENA region. So I had a vision to create the biggest digital online university in the Arab world. And right now, alhamdulillah, after three years of operations, we have half million students from all of the Arabic countries. We are the biggest e-learning platform in the MENA region. We have more than 1,200 online courses in Arabic language. So our focus was, is enriching the Arabic online language. So. Go back to our theme, what is the future? So I was thinking what I should present in TEDx. It should be something unique, something to think about the future, not right now. So I wanted to do something about ChatGPT, but ChatGPT is right now. So I wanted to tell you things gonna happen in the future. Maybe it might be right, maybe it might be wrong, but there's so many research, there, there's so many novels, they disagree or they agree with the vision of the future. So most likely, we have four industrial revolutions. And right now we're living the fourth industrial revolution with a big data revolution. The, the main theme of this revolution is the data and becoming uh, after this revolution so many technologies and science like AI, machine learning, blockchain, 3D printing, cloud computing, all related to the fourth industrial revolution. And right now there are so many companies, big industry, big charts, they are talking about the metaverse. So most likely, what is the metaverse and why we should think deeply in the metaverse, why it's really important to, to think how it's gonna be the future, how we're gonna live from here to 90 years. So most likely, in the metaverse, we can read, write, and own. So if we want to understand the future, we need to go back to the history. So most likely, we've been through a lot of technology and revolutions in this industry, especially the internet industry. We start with the web one, web two, web three and we can mention the biggest platforms in each web. So according to this uh, Web3, so most likely Web3 is right now the main topic everyone's talking about. So what is Web3 related to blockchain, AI, technology, virtual reality, MR, XR? So most likely the main differences in between Web1 and Web2, Web3 is the interact. So in Web1, 
I don't know, like you are like this generation, the old generation, they used to uh, interact with a web one. We only could read from web one. There's no interaction like web two where we can read, we can write comments, we can communicate, we can call. And now in web three, we can read and write and own. So I think everybody's familiar with the blockchain technology and the NFT and the cryptocurrency concept who was started in 2008. So most likely the ownership concept is gonna be changing the whole concept about the Web3 technology and the VR. So what's the medium? So most likely in Web1, we, we used to deal with static text. In Web2, we interactive text like Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, so many platforms right now we are doing it is like Web2 technology. Web3 is a virtual economy. It's a totally different world. So maybe like a lot of you who studies Einstein's uh, theories about the multi worlds concept, how we're gonna live in multi world at the same time physically and mentally. So maybe technology is gonna be the way to make everything is true. So as organizations, Web1 was hosted and controlled by con companies, Web2 platforms, Web3 is in networks. So there's no more centralization in our world. It's gonna go all decentralized. According to the infrastructure, Web1 is personal computers, it was decentralized. Web 2, it was cloud and, uh, cloud and mobile right now. And Web 3, the back end, but I totally agree, this emphasis is gonna be blockchain networks. So the control, the control uh, in the Web 1, it was decentralized local network. There was no global communication or centralized like a cloud uh, that we have right now. In Web 3, we are going back to decentralization, but with different concept, with totally with the blockchain concept, is gonna be more powerful, faster, and more secured. So let's talk more about the metaverse concept. So the metaverse is a network of a 3D virtual world which are connected. They are enabled people to interact with each other in real time regardless of where they may be physically located. So we remember the theory about Einstein, travel by time. So right now we can travel by time, not physically, but mentally we can travel by time. So how we see the future? The future is gonna be a multi-world. This world is not more enough for us. We are lacking of resources. The population is increasing by time. So we need to move to another world, mentally, not physically, by using the metaverse technology. So most likely meta, it's a Greek word, it's called beyond. The meaning of meta is beyond, verse is universe. So beyond the universe. So I think we are living the future right now by the raising of the AI technology and the blockchain and the Web3, I think the novels we use to read and the movies we use to watch is becoming true somehow because AI, it was a movie. It was an old algorithm, it's called machine learning from 1950 and much more older, but who converted AI to reality is novels and the technology, of course. So most likely I start believing everything that we are read and watch is coming to be real and fact to live with. So. The first time that the metaverse was mentioned about a novel is called Snow Crash. I recommend everyone to read this novel. And this novel has some concepts and factors. So the metaverse is a three-dimensional. So it's a 3D space like our world. A metaphor for the real world. So it's gonna be a copy paste from the real world. Not my piece. So maybe we can live a fantasy world, a different world of metaverse. Because right now we have a decentralized, we have Atlas world, we have different metaverse world in the beta version. Still we are talking about a technology world in the meta version. Blockchain is still in the meta beta version. And I think we need more 10 to 20 years to have this technology mature. Users can access the metaverse using virtual reality equipment right now. I believe we are going to a different technology by time which can be much more flexible and much more, much more cheaper. The metaverse is experienced from a first person perspective right now. The AI technology still, we are looking for the artificial super intelligence to take a place and start dealing with the AI in a different totally way. User avatars can be customized and personalized, and here where we can talk about the digital twin, so it's part from the uh, metaverse technology and the artificial intelligence combined. So most likely, the metaverse is combined from different technology. The front end, we can tell about uh, mixed reality, virtual reality, XR. I believe most of you who tried virtual reality and uh, argument reality before. And the middleware, the integration process is gonna be Node.js or the Web3. Right now, the mist form is technology or Node.js, 3D.js. And the back end, we are dealing with different total technologies, like the blockchain as a network and the AI as a concept. So most likely, what is the role of AI in the metaverse? 
So I'm going to talk about more about the front-end technology. So scientists, they are predicting that the future is going to be about blinking. So you blink, you go online. No need for virtual reality, so they are spending so many research on creating some lenses that you connect you with the online world, especially in the metaverse world, where you can go online by just blink. And I believe in this, yes, I do believe in this. This is coming maybe after 10 to 15 years. There's so many big companies, big sharks in the world working on this, investing on this, to develop eye lenses where take you online just by blinking. So you can check your account of Facebook just by blinking, or you can move from a metaverse to another metaverse by blinking. And maybe you can be exist in another metaverse by having a personalized, customized AI character who's baking deal and playing chess beside of you. So I'm gonna brief about the blockchain technology. Maybe nobody's aware about the blockchain technology. Blockchain right now is booming as a technology, not as a cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency is an application of the blockchain, but blockchain by itself is a standalone technology that is changing the world from Web2 to Web3 as a back end. So the main features about the blockchain is security and decentralization, and maybe it's really hard to hack the system, not like the centralized uh, clouds right now. So blockchain still in the beta version. I believe the future of blockchain is going to be the block net. So the block net is generating different blocks from the same block. Uh, it's going to be faster. The transformation of the uh, info and data through the blocks is going to be much more faster because we have a 5G right now and we need some more software technology like blockchain to be developed to another phase from the beta to alpha version to have like the block net. The main uh, applications on the blockchain right now, the NFT and the Bitcoin, Ethereum platform, the other summer grid and the smart contract. So let's talk about the AI revolution or evolution. So there's two phases, main three phases of AI, the artificial neural intelligence, the artificial general intelligence and the artificial super intelligence. As we see by time, we see the capabilities of AI algorithms become much more deeper. Right now we have ChatGPT, we have Linza, and we have so many algorithms that they can be creative and innovative. So most likely I believe we are entering the artificial general intelligence world. And this is gonna be extended maybe to 25 to 75 years from here. So I believe this level we are talking about, the, the, the AI algorithm might be reaching the human intelligence from different areas perspective. I'm against this, but this is what the future is talking about. I'm not going to talk about the AI super intelligence. There's a book. This is called the super intelligence AI. And uh, there's so many question marks in that era because still it's a philosophy. It's still we are predicting, estimating about the AI capabilities in the future was going to be. I believe it's going to be somehow scary in the future, but let's stay in the AI general AI because it's promising. I like this area more than the AI super intelligence. So we're going to see a lot in the coming years from the AI general intelligence, especially in the metaverse. So in the metaverse concept, as an AI, I can customize, precisely train my algorithm to learn more about me. So I can live in different multi-universe, I can live in Atlas and decentralized and different world created in the same time. So I might be playing chess with my friend in Atlas and closing a deal with my friend, uh, with another client maybe in Decentraland, and being physically here teaching you about the AI. So this is the future, how we can be in different places at the same time and how we can travel by time using AI technology in the metaverse. So linking between philosophy and technology, it's the way to be innovative and creative about the future. So everything that we're having right now, we thought it was gonna be a theory, but it's becoming real by time and this gives us a lesson. Always believe in what who have been there reading novels and books is going to become true. So here like a table is talking about the rise of Web3 and the 5G. So the mix of growth between technologies is so huge. So that's why when I started a startup, I thought about we need a platform to have all this content technology in Arabic because we deserve this. We deserve to be up to date with the technology right now Especially right now, it's not gonna be enough to be an AI engineer. It's not gonna be enough to know about only metaverse. You need to know about everything. And everything, you need a fast learning process. You need to have a huge library of online courses up to date where you can learn and gain and share knowledge. Because now you are a student. 
but tomorrow you'll be a teacher. So to be a teacher is not something easy. So you're gonna be the knowledge driver and there's gonna be a lot of knowledge seekers. So we consider ourselves as the Uber of knowledge where knowledge is the infrastructure. Building AI companies, there's a lot of competition and there's so many who's building AI companies, but who focusing on the right infrastructure for the new generation, the coming generation is knowledge. So knowledge is power and power is money. So most likely that's why I just mentioned a lot of technology in my presentation about where the future is going. And maybe as university students, some of you are studying computer science and some are studying data science and AI. And the real journey starts after university. So most likely I recommend all of you to start taking online courses and develop the self-learning process. Because self-learning is like diamond. Most likely it's the way you can grow, you can compete in the market, and you can read the future better than anyone else. So most likely it's gonna be this, the end of my presentation. It's gonna, it was a quick presentation. Uh, I hope that everyone liked it and thanks a lot. <laughs>